Alright, this is probably the ninth or tenth orbs and UFOs that I caught in this series. Wild Liberia, Season 1, Episode 4. 15 minutes, 14 seconds into the movie. With 1 minute, 14 seconds left. I was actually pretty much done. Tired that I caught so many in this video. It's amazing. I don't know if those are white orbs, but I doubt it. That's not what I'm concentrating on. Right here is where I caught two saucers. One is right there. Right above the tidal bar. There's my finger. The little black dots are so fast. And then there's the other saucer. Zoom in. I wish I had a better camera I could focus in. This looks like a hat, but it's distorted. If you come out a little bit, you can see it's like a hat saucer, I call them. But that's a clear square disc or square saucer, I call it too. Anyway, <clears throat> again, it's season one, episode four. 50 minutes, 40, 50 minutes, 14 seconds into the movie with one minute, 14 seconds left. Again, I was pretty much done. I'm so tired of catching uh, so many... UFOs in this series, but I'm done with season one, episodes one through four. This is the final one, and I was able to achieve my goal in capturing something in every episode of season one. So as usual, I forgot my remote. Let me get that, and I'll show you how fast these things take off. I'm not even going to try and capture them, they're way too fast. So, I'm just going to hit play, and, and you guys, or people already know how fast these things are going to take off. So, just watch them. Dangerous. Gone. Unpredictable. Try it again, let me see what I can catch. Theoretically, the coming months are a little more. Changing right there they just fly, so that's how fast they are. By the tree, look to the left. Theoretically, the coming months are a little more. Right there, just for the box. I did get it on film. Now let's see if I can catch it. Kind of tired. I'll try a couple times. Damn it, missed it. That's how fast they are. I'll get them. It's right behind us. Well, I caught it right there, coming into the frame. And actually, that looks like a saucer. So, let me see if I can... Again, I'm going to hit pause so fast to try and capture it in the next frame. But that little orb right there will shoot across past that tree and keep on going on this awesome 52-inch HD screen. And... I'll back up. This thing's super fast. I want you to see how fast it is. So it's right there. Right there. See that little dot? So, and again, if you guys want to try this yourselves, go to 50 minutes, 14 seconds into the movie with 1 minute, 14 seconds left. I wasn't expecting to even catch anything else after this, but I just want to capture this little guy because this is the last episode of this season one. I hope they make a season two. But watch that little black orb. I'm gonna line it up on the screen and let's see how fast that little thing goes all the way across this HD screen. Uh, so I'm gonna back up, hit play. Again, the dot or orb. <laughs> Looks like a dot from here, but it's right there. Watch how fast it travels across the screen. You won't even see it, and that's what I'm leading to. That these things are in the skies every day above us. We just don't look up, humans, except me. I look up 24-7, and I see a lot of things pretty much every night. Satellites, planes, and some um, unidentifiable stuff. But I'm going to hit play. Watch that thing take off. Gone. 
So that's just the reality of how fast these things fly. Um, so I'll give them again. Boom. I don't know if you've seen that. One last time to see if you can see it. Right here. See? Can't even see it. That's how fast they are. Can you see that? One last time. Capture it again. Theoretically, the coming months are a little more. Changing weather. Unpredict these left. Just waiting for the right time to pause it, but I want you to see it. I want to see it on the screen first. Changing weather. Unpredictable behavior. These left. Theoretically, the coming months are a little more. Changing weather. Unpredicted. These left. Theoretically, the coming months are a little muddy. Changing weather. Unpredicted. Oh, I don't even see it flying by it so fast. Theoretically, the coming months are a little muddy. Changing weather. Oh, yeah. Unpredicted. Right before he says changing weather. Theoretically, the coming months are a little muddy. Flies right by the tree right here. Changing weather. Damn, Un it's fast. These left. Theoretically, the coming months are a little muddy. Changing weather. So it is the last by the time he says. Theoretically, the coming months are a little muddy. Changing weather. Oh, it's the last. Unpredicted. So, so it's right after he says nutty. Theoretically, the coming months are a little muddy. Changing weather. Unpredicted. I want to capture this thing because it's going to be my last UFO of this series. The coming months are a little muddy. I'll get this thing. One grain is left. Theoretically, the coming months are a little muddy. Changing weather. Unpredictable behavior. Bees left. Theoretically, the coming months are a little muddy. Changing weather. Unpredictable <laughs> behavior. I'm going to get it because this is the last. So, right there, boom. <clears throat> so there you go, you see them both right there. That's the hat, I call it. You can't see it through the stupid camera, but there is the other orb. Yeah, as you can see, it's a square. But go to that coordinates, 50 minutes, 14 seconds into the movie. And one minute, 14 seconds left. Sorry for making this one so long, but I was just wanting to capture these two. But you've seen how fast and hard it was to catch them. As always, thank you for watching. Again, this was the closing of Wild Iberia Season 1, Episode 4. And I got a whole collection of Season 1. i seen UFOs in every episode 1 through 4. So, as usual, let me hit play and let these guys fly by. Gone. Thank you for watching, as always, over now.